Hey, Thomas Costelli here for another episode of Tax Smart Q&A. And in this episode, I'm going to answer the question, what is the special loss allowance for real estate investors and how can it help you reduce your taxes? So the special loss allowance allows you to use losses from your rental properties to reduce taxes on your active W-2 or business income without qualifying as a real estate professional or using a short-term rental loophole. I'm going to go ahead and break all this down for you in just one second. But before I do, if you do like this video, go ahead and hit that like button to help get this video into the hands of more real estate investors and help them become tax smart. All right, so special loss allowance allows you to take up to $25,000 in rental losses against your active income, as long as your modified adjusted gross income, also known as MAGI, is $100,000 or less. For example, if you have $75,000 in modified adjusted gross income, you can use the $25,000 in passive losses to reduce your income to only $50,000, which means if you're in the 22% tax bracket, you can reduce your federal income taxes by up to $5,500 per year by using the special loss allowance. But what happens if your modified adjusted gross income is above $100,000? If your modified adjusted gross income is above $100,000, this deduction is phased out $1 for every $2 above $100,000 in the modified adjusted gross income. This means, for example, if your modified adjusted gross income is $125,000, your special loss allowance deduction is going to be limited to $12,500 because you effectively just cut the deduction in half. And once your modified adjusted gross income is $150,000 or more, this deduction is phased out and you generally can't take rental losses against your active income unless you qualify as a real estate professional or use the short-term rental loophole, which is why these two strategies are so powerful among high income earners. If you want to learn more about the real estate professional status and short-term a loophole and how they can help you reduce taxes on your W-2 or active business income. If your income is above $150,000, you can check out other videos on this channel or click the link in the description below to get our free guide. Also, if you did like this video and you do want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on future Tax Smart episodes. That's all for today, and we'll catch you on the next episode of Tax Smart Q&A.